I'm EMP proof. EMPs, solar flares, this comment right here that an EMP will destroy everything, it's not that simple. The threat of an EMP is real, but it's more of a grid killer than an electronic device killer. If you're new to prepping, an EMP is an electromagnetic pulse. We're talking about an HEMP, a high altitude electromagnetic pulse. This is when a foreign adversary would detonate a nuclear weapon at a high altitude. The full impact of a high altitude EMP is not fully tested or fully understood, but there have been studies done to test the impact. There's also the US Starfish Prime test that was done in 1962, but the grid and electronics were quite different then. If an EMP was detonated over New York City, it would affect the entire seaboard way up into Canada. Count on a long-term power outage because modern transformers would take months, if not years, to replace. But that's the grid. When it comes to electronic devices, that's something different. An electronic device that isn't plugged into an outlet and doesn't have a big antenna, it's more resilient. If you want full protection for electronics, you need to wrap it in EMP cloth. Some people buy pre-constructed Faraday bags, but if you want to protect a lot of devices or something large like a generator, you need to buy Faraday fabric. You could make your own Faraday cage with a big ammo can like this. I would line everything inside with cardboard, then wrap it with Faraday fabric. In fact, many preppers do that. The fabric is polyester wrapped around copper and nickel. If you want to get a sheet like this, I'll put a link to it down in the comments so you can.